when did when did you and Grandpa marry? Twenty sixth of July, nineteen oh six. Now, can you tell us again the story about how you met and courted, and how <laughs> he had to take a trip before? I love that. I think well, I heard uh, it. see, I lived on Illinois Street, and he lived down the block, or between that street and the railroad, about a half a block. And he was 10, well, almost 10. I, my birthday's in July, in, or April, and his is 6th of December. We went to school together, and oh, he used to pull my braids and wash my face in snow. Mom often said, you always come home and say that old Jim Van Pelt wash my face in snow. Well, him almost 10 years over, he did like to tease me. And then he went to the Spanish-American War, I forget what year. I was pretty young yet. And, uh, of course, his folks and ours were neighbors, and I met Grandpa on the street one day, Jim's father. He said, Mabel, and I was uh, another girl, said, Jim's coming home tomorrow. And I said, I know it. And I said, the girl, what do I care? I got a book for him. So when he come home that day, Mom and Dad, the kids and I was in a swing that Dad had made, one of them tall swings that had swung this way, Dad, that you never seen. Yeah, just two seats, yeah, sure. And we was out there and looked up, and here come Jim across the back of the lot in his uniform. And I said, my land, here is Jim. He come up and shook hands with Mom and Dad and talked to us and begin to get dusk and he said, Well I must go up town and see how many remember and he's gone seven years. Oh, he'd been away then he Spanish American and he just he just come home from the war. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that uh, Mabel don't you want to go up town with me? We didn't have no street lights or nothing then. And uh, so I said, can I, Mom? She said, well, I don't care. You don't be out late trying to be home by nine. How old were you? Mm -hmm. How old were you? Nineteen. And uh, so we went up town, and everybody stopped us and shook hands with both of us. So when we went back, when he went home, I thought, Quite a bit of it. Oh, he's so much different than he used to. When he, <laughs> he wasn't was washing my, your face with snow anymore, was he? <laughs> and, uh, well, we just went out. He'd hire a horse and buggy, and we'd go buggy riding and all around. And we just kept going together. And one time he said, do you know what? And I said, what? He said, I'm going down to Indianapolis tomorrow. I'm going on that move on plug, they call it, in the morning. And tell Lulu that we're engaged, but it's all over. And then I'll come back tomorrow night. I said, what? Yes, sir. He said, I, I wouldn't be satisfied. Well, I said, I've got a boyfriend that I'll have to tell him that he lives in Rensselaer, Charlie Grimes. So, he went that morning, and a neighbor of mine, Alma McCauley, said, Well, you lost your boyfriend, didn't you? And I said, Why? Well, I said, he went to Indianapolis today to get married. Oh, well, that's all right. And I worried all day. I thought, Jim surely wouldn't have told me that if that's what, what he's going for. So when that old plug come in back of the backyard or the, he, that, that acre of ground back there, 
went by and I said out there and waited. Pretty soon here he come just a hike about eight o'clock. And I said, oh, you're back. He said, I told you I'd be back. I didn't tell him about Alma McCauley for quite a while. <laughs> I tell him that he went to get married and I told him. He said, well, she didn't like it a bit, but I told her it was all wrong. So, my gosh, about two or three months we was married. 